major is computer science. Uh, my topic is animal does not belong in zoos. When you walk into the zoo, you will find various kind of um, animals. You may be curious and excited. You can see the, these animals wandering in the cages. Do you think they are really happy? They are freedom or uh, direct. They need to stand the observation of this system every day. They can not run free in their world. Imagine that you are, if you are trapped in cages, what will you feel? So I want to tell to all, every of you that animals do, doesn't belong in zooms. Animals are our friends. They have the same right with our people to uh, rest in their ways. They belong in the natural zooms. Now I'm going to tell all of you why animals don't belong in zooms and the way to help them to get rid of cages. The nature of animals are limited in the zoo. They cannot to run, fly, or swim freely. Animals in zoos are denied everything that is natural and important to them. Every aspect of their lives is controlled and managed. And the border is a big problem in zoos. And sometimes animals in the wild don't have to face these uh, challenges. They just stay in cages and they cannot play with their can, uh, companions, cannot walk around in the forest. For example, in zoos, ele elephants are usually kept in care or even isolated. Their closures are incredibly uh, small compared to what they are used to uh, live in the wild. Elephants often show many signs of being straight out or bored, like engaging in repetitive movement. It's no surprise that elephants doesn't do well in zoom at all. The average lifespan of zoom elephant is about uh, 16 to 18 years, while wild elephant can live um, more than 50 years. The major problem with zoom is that the uh, animals who live there are kept in enclosures that don't allow them to live their life in a natural way. No matter how big um, some zoos try to make the enclosures, no matter how many branches they put in them, no matter how beautiful they make the background the painting on the wall, they don't compare with the natural habitat the animals were made to be in. So animals have to spend day after day, week after week, year after year in the exact same place. This makes their lives uh, very bold. As the uh, many lives in, in Philippines, uh, tigers are kept in pens and uh, that bear almost no balance to their natural homes. In the wild, uh, uh, an adult tiger's uh, territory can cover more than about uh, 160 square kilometer, but the entire Manila Zoo measure only uh, only about uh, um, zero one point one point zero five five kilo square kilometers. What most animals uh, receive inadequate. Um, Inadequate nutrients, eating unpalatable, synthetic food, and inadequate medical care, suffering illness and disease. Because of Zoom's financial constraints and Zoom keeps indifference, all of this shows animals um, don't live well in the Zoom. They face a lot of challenges and pressure in the Zoom. Uh, if we don't act right now, they may need more cruelty. Now that we see there is such a problem, we need to find a solution. I think the first step is that we should know the negative effect and the cruelty of zooms. Animals should return to forest and uh, live with their companions and friends happily. Uh, they should wander and run in the forest to release their natural free. Um, how, um, However, we should let more people around us know the truth that animals belong in natural. If you want to see them, why not go to the forest to find them? 
What's more, persuading the authority is all of zoos use the money to save wild animals instead of capture them in cage is always a good way to help animals. All of this means it's useful to save animals from the zoo, but how can we do it? It may be hard to establish all of the solution, but every time uh, you walk a step, you may save a wild animal from Zoom or help them to get their right. I think uh, you should reject to resist uh, to visit Zoom at first, because the least visitor in the Zoom, the last Zoom will be open. And you should try to persuade the people around you not to waste the zooms. Uh, animals are all friends. They should be treated equally instead of being, being captured in the cage like a stranger. Mm -hmm. Maybe writing a letter to authority is to advise them use money to protect the wild animals instead of keeping them in the cage is also a good way. I think authority is not easy to be persuaded. But why not have a try? In conclusion, uh, animals doesn't belong in zoos. They sh should be released to nature. Stay in the cage will make them nervous and depressed. Uh, they will lose their nature and freedom in zoos. They should run in the forest, but not to be wasted by us. Stop wasting zoos and try to persuade the people around you to do, do it like you. Try to advise authority of Zoom and uh, use money to protect the wild animal instead of keeping them in the cage. By doing this, you are helping animals to get rid of cage and depression. Animals are like our friends, and now you are helping them to get, get gain their right and freedom. So please do it. Thank you. That's my speech.